What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life. So just got a quick one for you guys today. You guys know I gotta collect them lights. You know, I, you never could have enough flashlights. You know, I probably, I didn't never counted them. Lauren tells me to stop buying them, but I tell her maybe tomorrow. But I wanna show you guys a quick one I got from Power Probe. They're making flashlights now. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. To it, make this one quick. I got a couple through Power Pro. Um, lo and behold, to me, I guess they make flashlights now. You know, I don't know if you guys noticed, but you know, it's not necessarily called Power Pro anymore. You know, they changed the logo, called Power Pro Tech. They're getting into more of a lineup for the cars. You know, flashlights. You know, multi probes. Obviously, the Power Probes. Different things for the Power Probes. I don't know if you guys see the starter bump they had years ago, but uh, got a module work light. Thing looks pretty awesome. Um, Part number on this one, PPMWL1000, but it's a module light. This thing actually, I uh, was playing around with it. You guys know I always mess around with the tools before I put them on the video. Obviously check it out, get my first impressions so I know what to tell you guys. But this thing is uh, definitely built pretty well. It's got magnets all over it. Um, you know, blind you guys here once I find the power button. Actually, this is the top, but they all turn on. You know, definitely throws the light. They got dim settings, you know, I think two settings there. Yeah, low, then high, then off. And then you could use it as a standalone. It's got magnetics, it looks like on the side and on the back. It's got the uh, charger port on the bottom here. It does come with a charger. We'll show you guys that in the box. And then they're probably gonna come out with a mount for it. So it looks like, you know, I could probably mount this to the tripod you guys are on right now. And, uh, you know, have it kind of sit up like that onto a, you know doing a job or underneath a hood or something like that but what's nice is you use it as a hood light it does stick real strong magnet on it um i believe it sticks this way too i don't think it's too heavy yeah i mean it's enough to hold it and i mean this thing's definitely got some weight to it but what's cool about it is these lights pop out and you could use them individually too so the lights also have a power button on there and you could use the lights individually obviously two settings on it these also have a magnet on it Stick them however you want. You know, they each got buttons on it. So pretty much you're setting up underneath the hood or something like that. You can kind of angle them, you know, in direct light wherever you need it. You got one here. It's also got a little hook on there. You guys see a little hook. And this thing articulates back and forth. But definitely pretty cool design. You can see, you know, when it's in the base where it charges. I'm not sure if there's a battery in here, if it charges through here, or if this is just used to charge all four of them through the plug because there's no, you know, other input other than those four prongs which match up to the four prongs in here. But pretty solid, you know, using this even one light at a time or, you know, getting the coverage of a hole underneath the hood or underneath the car, stick these to the racks, whatever you got to do. You got metal in your head, you can stick them in your head, but you know, you can angle all those things. Have one in here still, you know, kind of use it like that, angle them wherever you need them. I thought it was pretty cool, made by Power Probe. I mean, you know, what will they come up with next? So, and then to charge them all, obviously, put them, snap them all back in there, close it up. They go in one way, and you guys can see. You know, they're grooved with the lines. Let me turn this off, so, because I'm already blind. But uh, they got grooves on them here with the button at the top. We got a magnet on the bottom here, and then you can see the grooves inside here. So they, you know, pretty much pop in there one way here, backwards on the camera, and they snap in place. But pretty nice light. You guys check this thing out. P, like I said, PPMWL1000 module work light. This thing does throw, it says between the four of them, it's up to a thousand lumens. So, you know, probably uh, 250 a piece. And then that's their new logo. Obviously, you guys know that. Pretty decent. You can see PPT, Power Probe Tech. You know, what will they come up with next? You guys know I, I got a bunch of Power Probe tools and uh, I pretty much use them daily. So that's that one. And then the other one I got, it's been around for a while. Just a quick one. 
Um, part number on this one is the TST three pack. It's pretty much, <clears throat> you know, the check pretty much powers and grounds going to the, you know, the, the 110 converter inside the vehicles, the USB, and then the normal cigarette lighter. And, uh, you know, pretty much just a power pole logo that lights up. Pretty easy peasy stuff. I mean, obviously there's other ways to check it, but you know, for 30, 40 bucks, you know, checking who wants to stuff a power probe or a multi probe inside little prongs here, wrist popping fuses and all that stuff, frying a circuit. So that's one for the USB. And then what else is in here? I only took two of them out earlier. Here's one for the cigarette lighter. Pretty easy stuff. I use just a normal cell phone charger with a light on it, but you know, power probe product beats that. And then one for the, t the one for the 110 converter inside vehicles. You know, most of the newer cars have the house plug inside there. You got one for that too. I'm sure it'll work in a house, but it actually says on there for automobile, AC only, 110 AC only. So mini, mini, mini power probe VAC. And then each of them got individual part numbers too. You guys see that one? Individual part number on this one. And then the USB little power checker. So some great stuff, new tools to add to the arsenal of power probe. You know, they're always coming out with innovative stuff. They got more stuff on the way. The Maestro, obviously I want to check that out. Can't wait to see that when they drop that. I'll see if I can find uh, a link to this new one. Put it down in the description. If I do, you guys, you know, looking for this, pick one up. I know this one's a fairly new tool as far as these, uh, you know, the three pack tester inside. Put it down in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.